This is Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review with your NHL play of the day for Saturday, January the 7th. A busy Saturday NHL card to choose from. Tons of games on the schedule. We've selected one that we think will be a solid play of the day. Worthy of being play of the day for Saturday's card. Let's go to the New York Rangers taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets. And yes, the Columbus Blue Jackets, I would say they're in a little bit of a tough spot here. We are talking about a team that had a epic second longest winning streak in NHL history. 16 games. Incredible streak by this Blue Jackets team. Not only took the hockey world by storm, but that winning streak of theirs really took the sports mainstream media world by storm. You were seeing Columbus featured on ESPN. All the big U.S. sports net TV networks were mentioning and talking about this incredible streak uh, that the Columbus Blue Jackets had uh, winning 16 straight games. They saw that streak come to an end in decisive fashion. Uh, in their last game on Thursday night, a shutout loss to the Washington Capitals by a score of 5 nothing. Really a game where, you know, they didn't really play that bad. They outshot Washington early, but Washington seemed to capitalize on a lot of their chances. For the first time in a, a long, long time, the puck luck didn't go Columbus's way. I mean, they had some bad breaks, some bad bounces. Washington able to capitalize, get out to an early lead, and they didn't look back from that point. A 5 nothing win, snapping Columbus's 16-game winning streak, and you worry about the bubble burst effect that is in play here for Columbus. I usually like betting against teams in situations like this. A long, epic winning streak. You're riding a high. That streak gets snapped, and a lot of times there's a hangover effect in that first game after the streak is snapped. I think we could see that here for Columbus. I'm not convinced we get Columbus, you know, that we get their A game here. I think they could be a little flat, a little bit of a hangover, a little bit of, a, again, a letdown following that 16-game winning streak coming to an end in Washington against the Capitals the other night. Uh, I think they're going to be up against it here. Uh, I don't want to say this is going to start a losing streak now for them, but I do think uh, they're going to be in tough to respond, at least in this game, after seeing that, you know, that unbelievable, incredible streak come to an end. And they're playing a team that's playing pretty good hockey, the New York Rangers especially. Uh, on the road. I mean, the New York Rangers have been getting the job done uh, on the road. They're 7-1, and one, uh, actually, in their last uh, eight road games. They won another game on the road the other night, beating the Philadelphia Flyers by a score of 5-2. to two. Very impressive road win. They've been very good on the road as of late. And they've been able to win games even without Rick Nash. I mean, Rick Nash has been out with that groin injury. We know he's a huge part of this team offensively. Uh, hasn't been playing now for quite a few games. Uh, and is probably not going to be in the lineup again Saturday against Columbus, but they've been able to survive and win games without him. Mark Stahl, the defenseman, uh, didn't play in the last game uh, for the New York Rangers in that Philly win over Philadelphia due to an upper body injury. He probably won't play here, but still a team that's been able to overcome some injuries, overcome some personnel absences, still be able to win hockey games, and a real good sign in that win over Philadelphia that Henrik Lundqvist had a big bounce back game uh, he got the start in net for a second straight time after a rough go against Buffalo where they lost 4-1, to one, bounced back, made uh, 30 saves on 32 shots in that 5-2 to two victory. So a much better performance from King Henrik Lundqvist in net for the Rangers. And again, it sets up well. This team's playing very well on the road. And you look at the recent series history, other than the earlier meeting between these two teams back in November this season, Columbus won at 4-2 in Columbus. Other than that, it's been a Rangers-dominated series. They have won uh, seven of the last eight meetings, seven and one, uh, the Rangers against the Blue Jackets uh, in the last eight head-to-head -head meetings. So very good success for the Rangers taking on this Columbus team. And again, they get Columbus in a prime ripe situation here. First game after that 16-game losing streak comes to an end. I think the hangover's in effect, and we get the Rangers on the road where they've been fantastic. Look at this Rangers road record, one of the best road records in the NHL, 14-6 and six for the New York Rangers away from home, away from Madison Square Garden. A tremendous road record for them, and I think they got a good chance to improve that road record here in Columbus on Saturday night. So let's go ahead. Let's make this one official. Play of the day time for Saturday, January 7th. Let's take the New York Rangers plus 110, rotation number 63. This is a live dog as far as I'm concerned. Columbus, a hangover following their 
epic lose a uh, winning streak getting snapped. I'm not sure we get their A game. And if they don't bring your A game against the Rangers these days, they're good enough to beat you. And I think they beat Columbus here Saturday night. Let's take New York, the Rangers, plus 110. Play of the day for Saturday, January the 7th. All right, that'll wrap it up. I'm Ian Cameron for Sportsbook Review. Until next time, enjoy the games. Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts. Shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.